Hi, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And today we're going to talk about numbers in Swift, right? Now, there are many ways you could represent a number in Swift. And this on the screen are a few of the ways we have in date, in 16, all the way to unsigned integer 64. Now, the difference between the signed and the unsigned integer is that the signed um, integers, that is int, can show can represent both negative and positive values right in this case for the very first one you can see it can go all the way from negative 128 all to all the way to 127 uh, and this includes zero but when you come to the unsigned int you will find that it starts from zero meaning it can't represent negative numbers now these are some of the numbers you could represent in the system but most of the time you won't be dealing with this most of the time you'll be dealing with integers and doubles and i will show you how those work so numbers we can put numbers into variables like we did with strings. We could come here and say var a, a is going to be a number three. And Swift is smart enough to infer what type of number we have entered based on the number. And um, if the number doesn't have a decimal component to it, it's going to be inferred as an integer, unless of course it's too big a number, right? So for example, um, if we come here and we say, and we check the type of number this is, we could say here print and say, okay, just a second. And so this is going to be type of a and this is going to tell us that a is actually an integer if you check to the side right now we could also create another variable and this is going to be b and b is going to have a decimal component we say something like three nine zero that that like so and if we check type of b we will see that this is actually going to be judged as a double right now you're going to be mostly unless you specify otherwise if the number is within the is within bounds of an integer, right? It's going to be cast as an integer and it's going to be interpreted as an integer. That is, it doesn't have a decimal component. If it does have a decimal component, it is going to be judged as a double, right? But we could specify that we want a specific type of number. For example, here, we could say that we want var c and c is going to be a type of int eight with eight bits. And we're going to say this is going to be five, right? And if we check type of C here, we are going not BC, but C. If we run this, we are going to wait. This is going to be type. So if we assign it to type like so, this is going to be type is going to be int eight, right? So we have to specifically say that this is going to be the type that we want, right? And we could do the same for a couple. We could say here var D, D is going to be of type int 64. And we could say something like, um, let's make it 56, like so, right? And come here and confirm this. And check this, this is going to be int 64, right? And um, the next thing we could do, we could do the same for float. Now float is a less is less precise than, um, than double, right? So if we come here and we say var something like um, six point var, let's say var, E, I believe we're in E, and this is going to be 6.99. This is going to, of course, be considered to be the more complete type. And when you're dealing with decimal uh, types with decimal, it's either a float or a double. And this is going to be cast immediately as uh, if we run this, this is just going to be considered a double, right? But we could say specifically that we want this as a float, which is a which has a, a bit less precision or a lot less precision than a double, right? If we do the same, we're going to find that this is going to be a type of flute, right? And the next thing is we could um, set numbers with maybe the greatest common, the greatest number that you could save to a certain value or the least, right? We could say something like var my num and my num is going to be a type of double. And we could come here and say something like greatest finite magnitude, like so. And then we're just going to say something like print. What do we want to print? We want to print my num, like so, right? And maybe comment this out so it doesn't run. And if we do this, we're going to get this is the value, right? It's going to be 1.779 to e to power that, 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 right? And we could also do the same for um, the least. We could come here and we say, var my num2 like so and my num2 is going to be float dot uh we went greatest you could you see we have infinity least normal magnitude least non-zero magnitude let's pick that right so least non-zero magnitude and we want to print my num2 and see it 
and all those uh, values in particular, right? So we do that, and this is the value we get. You can see one um, exponent raised to negative 45, right? So those are the type of numbers, and uh, mostly, like I said, you're going to be dealing with floats unless you, if it has a decimal component, unless you explicitly specify, and also integers if it doesn't have a decimal component or is not greater than the number that integers can hold, right? So those are the numbers that you're going to be dealing with when you're uh, looking at numbers in SWIFT.